So today I'm going to show you uh, the Olaf build and guide because Olaf is pretty good at League of Legends. So as you can see this is the masteries you would recommend for Olaf as like he's a tank plus he also is pretty powerful when he's on low life. These are the runes you might want to use on Olaf but you might want to think of gaining more magic resistance or armor runes but this is balanced. So first you start by leveling up your Q and you start by buying off a uh, Red uh, ruby uh, crystal that will give you extra life. This is only if you're like either going top lane or anywhere. Right. If you go bot, you might want to get a regenerating crystal. So, I'm going to teach you another thing with Olaf is that his W can heal him, plus, also the lower the life he has, the quicker his attack speed. Okay, once you increase your money, you might want to buy the Heart of Gold. But in my case, I might buy boots because it's easier to like catch up with people you want to kill. Then you carry on ninja tabbies for more defense. And you carry on. So then we get a giant belt, which gives us more life and is pretty useful. Then uh, carry on with heart of gold, as I was talking before, to give us a GP of 5. Then you buy another ruby crystal. Carry on this until you get you start creating like warm ups and first so good thing about Olaf is that he's such a good tank that he can I, go into like at least five champions and survive for quite some time but uh, he's managed to kill them but as you can see I lagged a bit but still survived so you then start building the warm up so you wait until you get all the money you get the warm up but as you can see that game didn't last that long but the reason is build your gang to win and if the match ever goes any longer you can always use this build which will give him more attack power, defensive abilities and he'll be a good tank 